If you wanna know how I transformed my brand and gave myself a makeover, all I gotta do is keep watching. I'm super excited to present to you your new website. Ooh, oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade. Today, I'm transforming my brand from zero to 100. I have a professional web designer here with me to help fix our shit. Um, I'm kind of doing my video in ASMR because I'm at my office and I don't want, and I don't want to disturb anyone. So yeah. All right. So we're going to dive right in. I basically want to showcase what my website looks like before we get the professional help. I have my friends, Jessica Cho, who owns a web design agency to help me fix my shit. Because let me tell you, the word I would describe my website and just my overall brand would be embarrassing so like it wasn't necessarily that my website was bad but it wasn't me now before i even go deeper i think the biggest thing is like why is it important to even give a shit about your website well when you think about it the people that you surround yourself with especially if you're making content online i know a lot of us are content creators people search your name on google and for the longest time when people search my name on google they would get this shit it's and keep in mind when people are searching things they're looking for a certain keyword so a lot of the times i literally lost clients work money by not taking my website seriously so if you're an influencer i would highly invest in a website or just caring what people search for so let's carry on shall we so first of all none of these images are like <laughs> it makes sense like okay the coffee one i like this one i don't i'm looking to the right and it's it's just really weird and then this one like i'm looking literally to, like where are you looking a lot of the things i like about my website were you know the movements but like literally look at the blog section i just i just didn't even change the image like imagine watching your favorite youtuber and all the thumbnails are the same so i'm gonna just final roast my website because the biggest problem was the contact button there was no way to contact me because on my website it was broken like look, like it just, it broke. Like, it, <laughs> do you know how many clients I've lost because of this? I've had this website for a year, by the way. If you were curious to know what I do for my clients, a lot of the times I have brands and e-commerce companies that need management and growth for their Instagram and social media. So like, just think about that, you know? I could have, I could have been good. All right, <laughs> here I am. All right, I'm just joking, but as you can see, it's not bad, but it wasn't functional, and it definitely didn't live up to what I needed to do. If I want to build a website, I need something that can really direct people to where they want to go, and of course, looks really great. It's something I'm proud of, something that matches what I stand for, which is always being yourself, and this is not it. All right, enough is enough. We're not going to be embarrassed. I'm going to call up Jessica and see what she says about my website. All right, Jessica, I need help with my website and I basically wanted to call you up to see your process. I really don't know where to start. Um, usually my process is really straightforward. If you can send me just a really quick outline of like the different pages you want and the different sections. So on the home page, what do you want? And then do that for every page. All right, so we're back in from the call with Jessica and she said to basically, you know, get your stuff together, get all your images, your text, and create a Google Doc, so I did. Hello, so this is the website. We have a headshot of me taking my Dohina photos on Instagram. So I kind of screenshotted what I wanted the text to say, but I don't have any idea what I want the layout. Like I'm kind of nervous about what it's gonna look like because it looks like shit. And she told me to just make a mood board. And I thought that was so cliche, but you guys, this is everything. I love Pinterest. Okay, let me show you. So you guys can follow me on Pinterest, I guess. I have a board actually called Jade Dharma Wong's The Design, which is everything that I want myself to be online. Oh, that rhymes. I'm literally puking. It's so pretty. So something that I made was just images. I like certain colors. You guys, check this out. Look at this brand. Look, look at this but i love helvetica fonts i love the color something about me is i'm just a weird kid like i remember when i was in high school whenever we had science projects i kid you not instead of making like a normal experiment and turning it in like a piece of paper i would make a whole movie a video actually i'll put it right here uh. 
that's better. Like, I spent so much time just making sure I went above and beyond with the presentation. I mean, it might not look like it, but I really do care about what I look like. Because for me, it's just art. I love being aesthetically pleasing, but I'm also like a fucking slob, so it's just a weird balance. Alright, so at this point, now we call Jessica, we have the images, and now I just sent it over to her for her to make our first mock-up. Now, a mock-up in a website design is just a few sketches to see what you like and don't like before the final product. Alright, I'll be honest, at this point, I'm feeling pretty hopeful because at least I can pass over this website and just my future of my brand to someone who is professional at. I think the reason why, if you were curious, I didn't spend any time on my website is because I was literally paralyzed in fear because I felt like I have to do it myself and I'm not a website designer, like I don't know what to do and if i did do that like it would just be a waste of my energy i want to let you guys know as a business owner or someone who just maybe likes watching content like know what you like to do and know what drains you of energy my energy was drained websites like i don't i don't know why. all right so here's our call when she called me about the first mock-up so i'm super excited to present to you your new website and <laughs> All right, so Jessica showed me the mock-up of the website and it's super amazing, but there is some adjustments that I wanted to still make. I'll be honest, you guys, um, like my science experiment uh, story time, I'm also kind of a perfectionist. I remember like another little, another little story before I you know dropped out of high school to pursue my social media marketing career or I don't even know what the fuck this is. I remember like if I didn't get an A, this is the Asian to me, okay, if I got an A minus, I would cry myself to sleep. A lot of people thought in school I was probably super dumb because I dropped out. Like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I really do care about like everything and making sure it's perfect uh, or else I won't go home and make my parents proud. Just kidding, I love you mom and dad. Anyways, the reason why I mentioned that is because I know a lot of us are super perfectionists and to the point where we don't even publish things. And I realized that like I can't be like that forever. That's the reason why I didn't even change my website for a year is because I was so afraid about making something that wasn't good enough and I had to ask myself, what is good enough? What do I need to make myself feel like a transformation is enough? Like, I feel like the reason why I want to make this video is to hopefully inspire someone to not wait so long like I did to change something. If you want to cut your hair, if you want to make a new YouTube video, just change your series. Don't wait till it's perfect. Because I kid you not, I'll be very honest, you guys are going to see the final reveal of my brand, my fonts, my website, my images. But realize that... I still, to this day, will want to add more things. I want to add this font, go on different photo shoots to make it better. I have to fucking stop and hit publish. So I'm going to jump to the last part where Jessica and I meet in Los Angeles, California to finalize a website and not be so much a perfectionist. There's still things I want to add. I need to be able to say I love this and it's okay if it's not 100% perfect. So here it is. Jessica, I feel like we really need to meet in real life to just finish yeah, the website. I agree. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, hey, Jessica. Hi. How are you doing? So the last time we chatted, you had three major, well, not major, three changes. Um, it was font, it was mobile experience, and lastly, you wanted to add a blog. blog. So I did all of that. So I'm here to show you your new site. But basically, I heard you loud and clear that you love Helvetica. So I went ahead and changed all the fonts to Helvetica. Yes, we love and, and I added oh. a blog kind of feature area. Yes. Should we get a deal with Squarespace? I feel like we should just like... I know, I feel like we should. Actually, they were emailing me. Okay, good. So, <laughs> hopefully they can... Squarespace? Yeah. Please sponsor this. All right, so I'm gonna test it on my mobile phone. I highly recommend you guys to be very conscious about what your mobile layout looks like because 80% of traffic, at least for if you have a social media presence, will come from social. They're probably clicking your link in your Instagram bio. And I'm gonna kind of see how it looks. Dun, da, da, da. Hopefully it works. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It's just the way. Oh, it's your network. It's my no Oh, it's just my network. <laughs> it's just T-Mobile. Comment below if you have T-Mobile struggle too. Yes. Yay. Okay. So they scroll. We have a bio. Everything. If you guys saw on the desktop, the words cover me. Now and nothing's in the frame. Love that. If you guys saw my older website, Jessica thinks it looks good. My old I thought website. it was great. I thought it was really. This it is got the me. job done. You it know? got the job done. This is. I love it. Okay. So Jessica, just curious, if someone were to, because now we know the importance of having your own website because social media is not always sustainable, where would someone go to kind of build a website? And if they want to work with you, 
I'd love to know how, how you work. Yeah, so this was completely built in Squarespace, but for Jade, I did a bit of custom code. Um, and if you are interested in working with me, we offer a bunch of different packages uh, for content creators, for small businesses, entrepreneurs, all the different things. So just reach out. So like, where should people contact you? So my email is hello at whiskeychow.com. That's my design agency that I have with my partner. And we'll be happy to talk to you about your project, um, what kinds of pages and all kinds of things that you need. So hit me up. <laughs> Hit her up. Jessica, just curious. I know the importance of having a website. I didn't take it as seriously. Now I can. If any of the viewers were watching wanted to build a website, how would they go about kind of starting slash working with you? Yeah, so I built this site completely on Squarespace. Oh, really? I highly recommend Squarespace. It's my absolute favorite. I've worked with other platforms before, but with Squarespace, the templates are beautiful. It's easy to get started on your own, but if you need a bit of hand holding or if you just want me to do it for you, um, you can head over to my website. It's whiskeychow.com. I have a design agency with my partner and we offer all kinds of packages for content creators, small businesses, entrepreneurs, you name it and we can work with you to build the site of your dreams. So everyone go click the link in the description. It's whiskeyandshow.com. Awesome. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Now before you guys go, I hope you give this video a like if you enjoyed this brand transformation. I've been seeing so many transformation videos on YouTube, but have you seen a website one? Have you seen a marketing one? I don't think so. Wow, I'm really cocky today. I think it's the purple eyeshadow I put on. This morning, I was feeling really possessed. Like I woke up to my office and I put on purple eyeshadow. Okay, that was right. All right, guys. I want to catch you guys in the next video. Comment below. Oh, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, just comment below your thoughts. And if you did get a transformation, what would it be? Would you get a website? a makeover of yourself, a photo shoot. I've been getting so many comments from you guys on the last few videos, so thanks so much for your love. You guys know I will comment back on you. I love you, I love you. Thank you for your support, Dharma Nation. You are still with me. Comment below, hashtag Dharma Nation. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> Ooh.